That's an understatement from the looks of it. I know. Well, we'll have to enjoy this nice weather until then. We will, too. And that is the 5.30 edition of News 40, but don't go away. There's more live local news ahead at 6. Our top story tonight, a West Springfield man pleading not guilty to the brutal stabbing death of his elderly father. It's coming right up on News 40. You're watching WGGB-TV Springfield. Now, from your home for live local news, Western Massachusetts News Leader. This is News 40 at 6. A local man in court charged with brutally murdering his father on Christmas Day. Good evening, I'm Dave Matson. And I'm Eileen Curran. Stanley Sherris Jr. is charged with murdering the man he is named after. And as News 40's Monica Evans tells us, this was not the first report of violence between the father and son. Fifty-one-year-old Stanley Sherris Jr. stands accused of fatally stabbing his 86-year-old father, Stanley Sherris Sr. The incident occurred on Christmas Day at their West Springfield residence. West Springfield Fire Department was called to the scene at Rogers Avenue on Christmas Day, and uh, people had seen some smoke, and that's what alerted people to the residence. When they got there, the defendant was there. Uh, subsequently, they found the body inside. Uh, a search took place sometime after that. Uh, there was blood in the apartment or, or the home. There was blood on the defendant. Hamden County District Attorney William Bennett says this isn't the first time Sherris has been accused of hurting his father. Sherris was recently released from jail after doing time for assaulting his father. At Sherris's arraignment today, he pleaded not guilty, but his attorney Daniel Kelly questioned whether his client was competent to stand trial. Unfortunately, this gentleman has a long record of uh, psychiatric uh, difficulties. He has a record of being treated at various institutions in the Commonwealth, and that's just part of it, which is one of the reasons why I said to the judge there's a serious issue about his competency to be uh, found fit to stand trial. Sherris is being sent to Bridgewater for a psychiatric evaluation after being briefly examined at the courthouse today. He uh, suffers from uh, dementia, which is a condition which affects him. Mr. Sherris' case, his memory and his orientation to, in this case, to time and place. Sherris's attorney, Daniel Kelly, says it's a real tragedy for Sherris, who he calls a brilliant man who speaks five languages and was once enrolled in a doctoral program at the University of Massachusetts to end up in such a tragic situation. At the Hampton County Courthouse, I'm News 40's Monica Evans. Sheriff is expected back in court on January 13th for a competency hearing. Another attack on a West Springfield church has parishioners mystified and police looking for clues. The latest act of vandalism is a fire set at the church's front door. News 40's Stephen Cooper has been following the story and he joins us latest with the latest from the Live Center. Stephen? Well, Dave, the shock gets even more shocking for parishioners and staff members at the First Congregational Church. What started as rock-throwing vandalism has now become more serious. We're talking fire, and it may not be a random act. Today, we caught up with police as they were on the scene investigating. It was a holiday surprise, most unkind. Two rocks thrown through the largest window of stained glass at the First Congregational Church in West Springfield during the Christmas holiday. Parishioners were shocked. Police were puzzled. And today, it appears there's more to the puzzle than pieces of broken glass. Overnight, vandals persisted in their attack on the church by setting fire to a Christmas wreath on the front door. Just on the outer services, appears it to be more than just a random vandalism. The church's minister agrees. As I think of three nights in a row, the first one with the glass broken, and the second again the glass broken in the rock, and now this act with the fire, all happening three nights in a row. And so it uh, looks as though there is an intentional part of this. Actually, church staff members say the vandalism started more than three days ago, that in fact the church has been under attack since September. We've had a lot of this going on, you know, and it's been uh, one, one right after the other. Not just once in a while, it's, it's been day after day. Specifically, the plexiglass protecting the stained glass was damaged by rocks last week, before the more serious attack on the stained glass. Since September, the floodlights have been broken, lights on this sign vandalized as well, and lights were stolen from the adjacent cemetery. But it looks like this church is a specific target, it seems. 
Well, there are no other churches in uh, West Springfield at this time that have any vandalism going on. And it, it, yes, this is the only church right now that's experiencing this. The shock is still there for me and members of our congregation, too, and this feeling of loss. And church staffers that we spoke to today tell us about a former staff member who left the church this year on bad terms. This person had been involved in some kind of power struggle with the now former minister of the church. However, all the vandalism has taken place since the new minister has arrived, so it's not clear, and police won't say if this is any kind of lead. However, police do say that they are following up on any and all leads. This is Stephen Cooper in the Live Center. Back to you. All right, Stephen, thanks. It's also senseless. Mm. Eileen? Dave, investigators in Milford say the owner of a shoe factory violated a court order to install sprinklers and fire detectors, and now he's paying the price. The four-story vacant building went up in flames yesterday morning. An adjoining warehouse was also damaged before firefighters managed to put out the blaze. The owner of the factory says he was in the process of installing the sprinklers and detectors. He denies having anything to do with the fire. The exact cause of the blaze hasn't been determined yet. A new kind of ammunition will soon be hitting the streets. It's something that will make standard ammo obsolete. It's called rhino ammunition, and it causes the most damage when it hits human flesh. David Keene is its inventor. It makes a perfectly clean cut through all three until it hits the gelatin. And uh, when it hits that, it comes completely apart violently. Now, Keene says the only way the bad guys get the ammunition is if the good guys give it to them. It hits the streets of Huntsville, Alabama, January 2nd. The rest of the country won't be far behind. Well, joining us now to talk about this is Springfield Representative Paul Karen, who is the chair of the Committee on Public Safety. And Representative Karen, what does your committee think of this? Well, Eileen, uh, it is uh, ammunition that I don't think is, uh, has any right to be on the streets. Uh, the federal law back in 1986 banned so-called cop killer bullets, mm -hmm. but that was directed towards Teflon coated bullets uh, made of certain alloys or metals. This new bullet is made out of uh, a carbon-based plastic, a polymer, and so therefore falls outside the ban. Is there something the state legislature can do? on its own to sort of include this kind, type of bullet? Well, my, my committee, uh, I'm drafting a letter right now to the congressional delegation to expand the federal ban, uh, but uh, we're also looking to file legislation to increase penalties for anyone in possession of, weapon, uh, of these type of bullets that are not law enforcement officers. Um, police organizations are strongly against this. Have you heard from them? Well, this is relatively new. I had heard that there was something coming about at the first of the year. Um, obviously, this type of ammunition uh, does not have a, any use in terms of uh, uh, hunting uh, anything other than people. It's meant to disintegrate upon impact and uh, fragment into thousands of razor-like uh, shrapnel particles. So, uh, obviously, it makes it more difficult for the law enforcement officers that are out there. And especially concerning to us, the legislature just passed a $10 million bond package to provide bulletproof vests to every law enforcement officer in the Commonwealth. And uh, that program will be starting about in the next couple of months. It seems very ironic that uh, we no sooner uh, move forward to fund uh, the acquisition of bulletproof vests for our police officers, but there is a, a better mouse trap out there or a right. bullet that can, th that can pass through it. So it's, it's cause of uh, concern to uh, those of us in, in the legislature. All right. Thank you very much, Representative Karen, for joining us tonight. Well, the business world is no game, but the lottery is a big game that's becoming even bigger for Massachusetts. The Patriots are preparing for playoff action against the Browns. Mike Rote will tell us how they're getting ready for it. And you better get ready for a show that you won't soon forget. News 40 is your home for the lottery live. Watch the daily number drawn tonight at 7.53 and Mass Millions at 11.10 in the News 40 nightcap. Join the millions, sold on 1994 was our best retail sales year ever. Over one million new Dodges were sold. So we're celebrating with $500 cash back on select Dodge Caravans. Thanks a million. Get up to $1,147 total savings and values on Intrepid. Come join the millions, sold on Dodge. Going on now at your Dodge dealer. Hurry in today. Okay, right now at every Bernie store, all GE and GE Profile appliances are on sale. Now, nobody has more in stock and ready to go than Bernie's. Now, add to this no down payment, 0% interest till 1996. 
Sounds to me like you're going to get that new GE or GE Profile appliance right away. And why not? You deserve it. Get a GE 5-cycle dishwasher for just $2.99 or a GE 22-cubic foot side-by-side -side refrigerator with ice and water for $11.46 now at Bernie's. This winter, don't wake up in the dark. Wake up with Linda and Paul on the News 40 Morning News Hour. Up to the minute news, traffic, and weather conditions all morning long. And if this winter's anything like last year, you'll need this. The News 40 Snowflake. All the latest school delays and cancellations all morning, every 10 minutes. Don't wake up in the dark. Wake up with Linda and Paul on the News 40 Morning News Hour, beginning at 6 a.m. News 40, your home for live local news. On January 6th and 7th. Ladies and gentlemen. Live Springfield Civic Center. The battle you've been waiting for. Taurus versus Wildfire. The U.S. Hot Rod. Land Slap Monster Jam. Featuring Quad Wars. Indoor motocross. And for the first time ever. Dinosaurus Rock. Most people just talk about the economy. We're doing something about it. Two dollar adult discount coupons available from Domino's. January 6th and 7th. The Civic Center. News 40, your home for live local news. With Dave Madsen, Eileen Curran, Tom Bavakwa's weather, and Mike Rattay's sports. A 37-year tradition in Holyoke is coming to an end. Zal's is going out of business. The men's and women's apparel shop on South Street will be closing its doors for good in mid-January. Zal Saltman and his wife plan to retire after serving the community for so many years. The business was actually started in 1923 by Zal's father, Simon Saltzman. One business that is booming is the state lottery, and it is not showing any signs of slowing down. Sales this year totaled $2.5 billion, with $1.7 billion paid out in prize money. Even still, the lottery is making some changes, hoping to boost sales further. Last week, lottery officials pushed back the time of the big, drawing, uh, big game drawings, that is, to 11.10 p.m. That gives customers an additional four hours to buy tickets. And you can see that live lottery drawing right here on News 40 during our nightcast. Also, Saturday nights at 7, beginning February 4th, the lottery will air a special 30-minute television show that will hand out prizes to studio audience members and the people at home. News 40 will also carry that show live. And one more revenue-producing lottery edition. There's now paid advertising printed on the back of your ticket. Well, if uh, you said charge it over the Christmas holiday, those bills will be on mm. the way before you know it. And your payments will be with interest and maybe at a higher rate. Well, before you, get, before you despair, listen to what financial editor Jim Vinnick has to say about cutting your credit card costs. A lot of us could probably... Uh... Yes. It was a lot of fun, Eileen. A lot of fun. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're negotiating for a house, a business, or you find yourself bidding for something at an auction, setting a price or a limit that you're going to pay for an item is commonplace. Well, the same holds true when it comes to credit cards. By shopping around for a credit card, you can pay just about any fee that you want to and at any interest rate that you want to settle for. Now, there's one easy way to cut credit card costs. Here's how to do it. If you carry a balance, call your bank and ask for its low introductory interest rate. Competition among bank cards and American Express has forced many banks to make special deals to hold on to their customers. For example, a New York bank recently cut a customer's 16.8% credit card interest rate down to 8.9% for the next 12 months, provided that he transfer at least $1,000 of debt from another credit card. Well, the bank also waived the transfer fee. Now, if you don't ask, you don't get it. And if your credit card bank gives you a hard time, tell the representative about all the credit card offers that you've been receiving in the mail almost every day. These 15 credit card solicitations have come to me and my children in the last two weeks. They're pre-approved, second chances, guaranteed approvals, no annual fees, $25 rebates, some even earn 5%. And one card tells me that my credit card is obsolete. But they all have one thing in common. They all have introductory fees, a lot lower than most credit cards. So negotiate with your credit card bank and don't take no for an answer. If you don't get a good deal, move your account. You're probably getting these like I am. 6%, 6.9, 6.9, 7.4, 8.75, 8.5, 8.5, 75. Throw them out. And what you should do, Eileen, is pay your bill. <laughs> then you don't have to worry about loan shark rates at 18%. I'm not that bad, Jim. Okay, but 15 <laughs> in a week and a half. Right. That's ridiculous. Now let's take a look at Wall Street today, where the Dow Jones really took off as long-term interest rates began to come down. Dow Jones continued its rally up 28 points, we're now less than 75 points away from its all-time high ever as we approach the end of the year. 
The bond market 30-year Treasury bond dropped to 775, and like Tom Bavacqua said, he's going to bet the mortgage on it. Well, mortgage rates, 30-year mortgages, are coming down below 9%, as November home sales reached the lowest level now in 18 months. Now, take a look at some of the stocks that are moving. General Electric, the blue chips, up 1.5. IBM up 7 eighths, the 74 and 3 eighths. Continuing with the blue chips, Travelers up 1 and 1 eighth. United Technologies up 1 and 1 eighth. And all in all, we're coming in with a couple more days in the marketplace, and this market is roaring. Mm -hmm. And the long-term rates are coming down no matter what the short-term rates are doing, and the evidence is in the numbers. Home sales down, people contracting, retail sales not great. And that means lower long-term rates coming up and lower mortgage rates like Tom just told us. Hmm. <laughs> You're picking on me. I think he was watching each time I pulled out that plastic. Well, we get time to clean that up. All right. That's, but right. that's what everybody should be doing is throwing them out. That's okay, a good idea. Thanks. Well, we are heading toward the new year without any snow. But that all could change. <laughs> Tom will tell us all about it when we continue on News 40. Just how low will your Ford dealer go during the big after Christmas sale? Pretty low. <laughs> and Ford just announced the best offer of the year on Ford Taurus. Choose low 2.9% APR financing or lease for only $237 a month for 24 months. That's right, 2.9 or $237 a month on Taurus. Even lower. <laughs> Don't miss your New England Ford dealer's big after Christmas sale through January 4th. I've been cutting back on cigarettes. Hasn't been easy. But I'm down to half what I used to smoke. And I'm ready to lose them for good. So I did something that's supposed to help. I just grabbed a pen, thank you, and picked the day. That's a good day. Now I've got something to shoot for. So I can kind of prepare for it in my head. I know it sounds simple. Simple things go a long way. New Year's is a great time to quit. Call 1-800-TRY-TO-STOP for more information. Join me in fabulous Switzerland this summer. Hi, I'm News 40's Paul Sutton. We'll fly to Zurich June 14th to explore this charming country. We'll visit magnificent Castle Chillon, located on the shores of Lake Geneva, and travel to northern Italy and Chamonix, France, site of the first Winter Olympics. Our exceptional vacation is only $2,499 per person, double occupancy, and includes airfare and breakfast and dinner every day. Call now for your free brochure at Holiday Travel, 1-800-826-2266. This holiday, you can get a great deal on the new Eagles, and here to tell you more about it is greeting card writer Rick Dennis. Rick, what'd you think? I love the sporty new talent, and Summit was great. Yeah, wouldn't you say Eagles a joy in many ways? Sure, and I can't believe I can get up to $1,100 off on Vision. A source of glee and happiness for each and every day. No doubt, but time on this deal's running out. That's the best you can do? Test drive a Vision at your New England Jeep and Eagle dealer. Well, certainly one thing is certain. We are going to have a weather change for the weekend. It is going to be noticeably colder. The second aspect of the weekend is not certain whatsoever. We could see snow, we could see rain, or we could see a combination of the two. And of course, there's always the possibility that the storm could go out to sea. But for tonight, it's cold, but not nearly as cold as it could be. 17 from Marlboro, Vermont, 22 Hatfield, Lee, 23 degrees, Agawam, 24. We expect partly cloudy skies for tonight. For tomorrow, the temperatures are on the rise. They get to above the 50-degree mark, especially from around Northampton South, and in particular over northern Connecticut. Partly sunny skies should do it. Now, what's coming up over the next couple of days will all be predicated on our jet stream and what exactly is going to happen with that. The northern jet begins to move toward the southeast. The subtropical jet moves toward Cape Hatteras. Some Somewhere here will be the storm system. Right now, the best scenario is this. We expect one particular storm to be located over the Ohio Valley near southwestern Pennsylvania. If a new storm develops and moves up the coast, we could see significant snow around here Saturday night and Sunday, or we could see snow changing to rain. Very iffy right now. Stay tuned for tonight. Partly cloudy, 28 degrees downtown. For tomorrow, we look for a fair amount of sunshine. Let's call it partly sunny. High temperatures around 51 degrees. The five day forecast shows that a problem could be developing for the weekend late Saturday and Sunday and right now weather could be a factor 
Patriots versus Cleveland. Mm. Could be a factor. I don't know, but the Patriots are really gearing up for this, so... Uh, so is Rattay. He sure is, Mike Rattay. Unbelievable. I yes. am geared up. I'm ready to go. <laughs> We're all geared up. Of course we are. That's what we should be. It has been a long time. It has been a long road to haul, and yeah. the Patriots are practicing outside. It's been a little chilly here, but as Tom said, it could be real chilly in Cleveland on Sunday. Back with that more next in Spoons. Dealers come and go, but it's nice to know that Vertera Lincoln Mercury has always been there when you need them. Vertera Lincoln Mercury, Riverdale Street in West Springfield. We're there for you. Better Bedding's done it again. We've opened a mega mattress superstore in Orange. And to celebrate, all our stores are having a big grand opening sale with prices even lower than our everyday low prices. We're the ones who sell more Sealy, Simmons, and King Coil mattresses than anyone in Connecticut. We're the ones with certified genuine name brand mattresses. We're the ones with free same-day delivery. And we're the ones who always have a better price. I'm John Hooley. And I'm Tom Hooley. Don't miss our incredible grand opening sale going on now. Closed captioning on News 40 and TDD services for the hearing impaired are brought to you by Ninex. Everybody wants something different in a car. But what we all want is to get the most quality for the least amount of money. Right now, you can make your money count on this new Geo Prism. It has dual airbags, and with GMAC Smart Lease, you can drive a Prism today with no down payment for only $199 a month. Now, who says you can't always get what you want? Make your money really count for the holidays now at your Western Mass Chevrolet Geo dealers. News 40 Sports is brought to you by New England Chrysler. Well, the countdown to Cleveland continues to sweep across New England this week as the Patriots prepare to not only appear in the playoffs, but continue what they've been doing for the last seven weeks. This team is rolling right along. They've won seven straight, and the players have come together in a big way. But this is no time to rest on the past. They need to look to the future, and the future brings them to Cleveland on Sunday. Well, I think what it does is it allows us to have a little bit of confidence so we can play well in an adverse situation like that. Uh, the last seven weeks, really, we've been in situations where we had to win or we were done. Uh, not playoff games, because we win the playoffs, but uh, with the same type of significance for us. So uh, I think that we've, we've shown that we can play well in those situations, but now we have to be able to do it uh, in the heightened intensity uh, and focus in, in the playoffs. If it's what you live for, playing football, this will be as old as it gets. You know, there won't be any grass on the field. It'll be green paint. Chances are it'll be cold. It'll be muddy. The crowd will be in it, and, and, and you got to go in there and play as well as we possibly can to try to come out there with a win. Sounds good to me. The regular season came to an end last night in Minnesota when the Vikings beat the 49ers in the Dome. The Vikings took advantage of some early mistakes by the Niners and the fact that San Francisco head coach George Seifert pulled his star quarterback Steve Young early in the ballgame. The Vikings score the winning touchdown when Terry Allen will go over the top for them and Minnesota won it 21-14. That gives the Vikings the NFC Central Championship. They will host Chicago next week while the Niners enjoy a first round bye. The number four ranked UMass Minutemen are playing tournament games this week in France and they began with two games today. They lose both games, a 57-52 loss to Strasbourg in overtime and the Minutemen lose the second as well to Pau Ortiz 44-43 was the final on that one. They play two more games tomorrow before returning home over the weekend. While the much-talked-about, extremely complicated, unfair labor practice charge was filed today by the Major League Players Union, its primary purpose is to try and prevent Major League owners from setting a salary cap. The Players Association alleged that the Player Relation Committee and the clubs have failed to bargain in good faith and gave notice of their intent to make unilateral changes in working conditions and violations of the National Labor Relations Act. The Player Relations Committee on behalf of the clubs alleged that the Players Association engaged in bad faith bargaining by, among other things, refusing to negotiate on a collective basis. I think all that makes sense. As for the hockey lockout, Players Union Chief Bob Goodenow is expected to talk to Commissioner Gary Bettman about resuming talks again. Bettman has said all along, if we get to January with no hockey, there will be no season. Well, I think it's time mm -hmm. these boys check the calendar, because that's in a couple of days. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Doesn't. It sure doesn't. And at this point, I, I say, 
you know, just just scatter. I've had it. Yeah. You wonder about the little kids, though. I'm sounding bitter right now. I'm feeling yeah. bitter, and I'm sounding bitter, but these guys, that's that's where they're driving me. Well, like everybody's fed up with it. You know, we're talking about the baseball deal again. It's like a, they all want more. They all want more, and they're all getting a lot. So yeah. it's time something's got to break. We'll see. Yes, I think we... they should give it all to the fans. The money that is. There you go. Well, are you ready to go back in time? That's what we'll have to do to get the money back to the fans. <laughs> Stay with us as we take you on a journey to a prehistoric kingdom. One that only Tom remembers, nestled right here in the Pioneer Valley. <laughs> Nineteen ninety four was our best retail sales year ever. Over one million new Dodges were sold. So we're celebrating. With $500 cash back on select Dodge Caravans. Thanks a million. Get up to $1,147 total savings and values on Intrepid. Come join the million sold on Dodge. Going on now at your Dodge dealer. Hurry in today. On January 6th and 7th. Ladies and gentlemen. Live Springfield Civic Center. The battle you've been waiting for. Taurus versus Wildfire. The U.S. Hot Rod. Grand Slam. Monster Jam. Featuring Quad Wars. Indoor motocross. And for the first time ever, Dinosaurus Rock. Most people just talk about the economy. We're doing something about it. Two dollar adult discount coupons available from Domino's. January 6th and 7th, the Civic Center. It's the 13th month sale at the West Springfield Lazy Boy Showcase Shop with sale of the year savings now through New Year's Day. Everything's on sale. Save now on quality Lazy Boy home furnishings for your living room and family room. Comfortable Lazy Boy sofas, reclining sofas, and versatile sleep sofas. Chaise recliners, rocker recliners, occasional chairs, and high leg recliners. Get the best buys on the entire Lazy Boy product line. Our gigantic week-long 13th month sale ends New Year's Day at the Lazy Boy Showcase Shop on Riverdale Road in West Springfield. Solid pine bookcase twin beds, two ninety seven, and that's complete with mattresses. Don't have the room? No problem. Still two ninety seven. I'm Joan Goodman. For insight into the legal cases and issues around New England, join me on Case in Point Saturday nights at seven thirty on News Forty. Hey, sports fans, the Springfield Falcons have landed with their brand-new franchise. I'm sports director Mike Rattay, encouraging you to head to the Civic Center and check out a Falcons game. News 40 Chief Meteorologist Tom Bufaqua, the most experienced weatherman in Western Mass with the most accurate forecast. Only on News 40 and 94.7 FM, WMAS. News 40 at 6 is brought to you by Remillard Insurance. In our 5.30 newscast, we told you about what Springfield schools hope to do about the high dropout rate. We asked for your ideas on the subject, and here is what you had to say on Talk Back. What parents should take an active uh, role, play an active role in ensuring that these children do not drop out of school? The parents have got the answer for the children's dropout rate. I think that anyone that drops out of school should not be allowed to try for a driver's license. Well, finally tonight, we're going to take you on a ride through an ancient kingdom right at the Holyoke Children's Museum. So sit back and enjoy. We'll see you at 11 for the Nightcast. Good night.